we're now joined by Dana Altman, uh, head coach of the Oregon Ducks. All right, Dana, uh, what is your secret to consistently putting together these pieces of a puzzle every year? Well, Andy, we've had really good players. You know, we've, we've had guys that uh, have come to Oregon for a purpose. Uh, you know, most of them have aspirations of, of moving on and playing professionally. And so, you know, the guys come here with the willingness to be part of a team. Uh, you know, we've had a pretty good stretch here. And um, I think probably the biggest characteristic of all the guys is their unselfishness. They're wanting to win. Uh, their will to win has, has been great for us as the coaching staff uh, to have the guys to work with like that, that, uh, you know, want to be successful on an individual basis, but no – uh, collectively, you know, we've got to be successful for them to be individually successful. So just really good players with, uh, that I've enjoyed working with. We've been really fortunate. So Dana, last couple of years, you knew you just hand the ball to Peyton Pritchard and he was an extension of you. There was a rotation of different players over the years that obviously went next to him without Peyton. Uh, who do you hand, who do you hand the ball to? Well, Peyton was really fortunate his freshman year to come in with Dylan Brooks and uh, Jordan Bell and Dylan Ennis, uh, Chris Boucher, a really experienced team, Tyler Dorsey. Uh, and so that was his freshman year. And then you're right, Andy, uh, all those guys left early and, and went to the NBA, which had been great for them. Uh, but so Peyton had a little tough time his sophomore year with, with that group and and then junior and senior, we, we added some new players and overcame some injuries, bowl, bowl getting hurt. And, you know, some guys were really dependent on and, and Peyton was, you know, a big, big part of that. And so to lose him uh, is to lose the, you know, the guy that just brought it every day and set the tone for our team. And I think culture is a word that's way overused, but, you know, especially with college basketball right now with the changeover so quickly, you know, you just want guys that want to compete and, and want uh, uh, to play as a team. And Peyton really helped us do that. And I, I think he passed that on to Will. Will's a good worker. Chris Duarte's a good worker. Uh, Chandler Lawson, you know, is, is a good worker. So we got a lot of guys back. And Eugene and Eric, those guys uh, sat out last year. They want to compete. Uh, LJ Figueroa came in from St. John's. He wants to compete. Amari Hardy from Vegas wants to compete. Uh, Jalen Terry, a freshman uh, from Michigan, you know. So uh, Luke War set out last year. He's ready to go. So we got a lot of guys that, uh, you know, are anxious to get going, are anxious to compete for time. And uh, in a year that I think having a deep team is really important, um, you know, I think we got 10 guys who can really go and uh, can give us minutes. So, um, I, I like our team. I like our guys, but, uh, to fill in for Peyton is a big challenge, but I really believe Will Richardson, Chris Duarte, and some of the older guys that we have on our team, uh, can do that. Uh, Dana, um, the daily routine of testing PAC 12 and the big 10 are the only two conferences right now that are doing it. We're seeing obviously positive tests around the country. So, you know, it, it doesn't mean it won't happen, but if you can just educate us on what the day looks like in terms of every player, every staff person in that tier one, getting that test every morning. And then before they can actually get on the practice court to ensure that it's negative. Well, Clay has our Clay uh, Jamison, our trainer sets up a schedule for all the guys to come in. And uh, so everybody, you know, our practice is at one o'clock in the afternoon. So everybody comes in sometime during the morning. Clay sets that schedule uh, and, and gets tested. And, uh, you know, fortunately, you know, our guys have, have tried to do the right things. Uh, I don't think there's a <laughs> exact science to this, Andy. I think guys can be really careful and, and still come up positive. I, you know, it's, it's like the flu or what any other virus. You know, you, you try to control as much as you can, but uh, in the end, you know, it uh, – uh, you're, you're going to meet people. You're going to be in contact with people. And uh, you try to be as disciplined and, and take as many precautions as possible. But uh, eventually we see a number of college students, you know, that uh, 
have been positive. So our guys have done a good job. But to answer your question, Clay sets up a schedule. The guys come in in the morning and uh, hopefully he gives me the nod at one o'clock that everybody's ready to go.